For more debates, updates and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. This is all happening in the context of, of some very fundamental questions about the universe. So if we're, we're talking about the fine-tuning argument, I take the fine-tuning argument to be a sort of an extension of, of a very basic, it's not even an argument, it's just kind of an instinct. You know, why do most people who've ever lived and still live believe that there's a God? Well, one of the reasons might be if you look around at the universe and there are various bits and pieces of it that seem to fit well together in a way that you might think, you know, needs a mind. Uh, and that, that's a very sort of basic way of, of putting, putting the world together and seeing if, it, if that makes sense of it. And it seems that it does make sense of it. There's, there's various things around us that seem like that. So the question is now what happens when science starts to, to inform the way that we actually understand the world? Well, at, on, a, on a first level, finding that the world is more um, intricately put together than our first observations show seems to strengthen that intuition. If you think a hummingbird is amazing, then zooming out and seeing the whole of an ecosystem or looking back in time at the processes that brought the hummingbird into existence or zooming in on the sort of the, the biological details of a hummingbird, all of that is just more amazing stuff. And so if you want to try and make this sort of instinct really secure, you might say, okay, let's go as deep as we can and try to work out whether the universe that we see is the sort of place that looks kind of thrown together at random, you know, Bertrand Russell saying we're all accidental collocations of atoms, or whether there is something remarkable about the way the universe is at its most fundamental level. And what fine tuning suggests is there's a, there's a systematic way of, of doing this. Why don't we go to the, the fundamental laws of nature? And when we look at those, uh, there are these numbers that you just have to put in that the, the, the the equation doesn't give you. Why don't we systematically change those as much as we can and try and work out what would happen and see if there was, if there is something remarkable about the way the universe is, as opposed to ways the universe could have been. So the fact that there aren't, it, that's a counterfactual statement, other things the way the universe could have been. So I think in that context, what fine tuning is trying to do, it's trying to answer that question, is there anything remarkable about the way the universe is rather than the ways that it could have been but isn't?